Alrighty, folks, welcome back to Tabletop Gaming. We're back with some more D. &D. Last time we left off, well, I mean, some of the teammates wanted to split apart, and uh, yeah, they had to do a fight with uh, less than the full party. It was a shambling mound of branches and moss. I'm not sure if it had a face. Anybody else? A shambling mound and fuck the fuck the goo ball for not wanting to eat plant. Bitch, you are an omnivore. Eat the plant. Yum. No. <laughs> <laughs> It wants meat. Yes, it does. However, it's not getting meat. We don't have any. <laughs> it's not We're a not. vegetarian. So, yes. You attempted to take a short break. Got my earbuds yanked trudging, out. Trudging through mud and water as best you can. You just happened to find yourself sitting upon and Interrupting something else's nap. So. Well. Your next course of action. Um, continue towards the trees because <laughs> I've had enough of the woods. Thorin is you thoroughly unimpressed. You mean the head. swamp, my guy? Yeah, swamp, sorry. Mm. Marsh. No, we're in the marsh. Same you're thing, different pile. No, you're in the marsh. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Heading inland. Towards yes. the trees. Yes. So who you start with? You find trees. So who are you starting with? So... You're going to proceed further on your journey. Yeah. Do we have to move our tokens, or are we just going to... No, 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 I just need to interpret my notes. For where you are. Because Otto annoyingly is moving effectively four times faster than you. <laughs> or least. Well... Uh... Oh, that's my note. Two hours. Two hours to delay in a bit. Okay. So, you guys continue to head in what is as straight a line as you possibly can, given the current conditions. But it's not really. It's like, it's all just kind of like shrubs and long grasses and stuff, so. There's not really much obscuring your view, but it also means there's not much in the way of landmarks. Great. And Somebody has a compass. Me. Yes, the straight as you can is more in reference to the fact that you can't just necessarily walk in a direct straight line. Ah. Head in a straight line. And as time goes on, the water level seems to slowly be receding but the mud factor seems to be increasing oh joy keeping uh, it's kind of preventing you from getting any real good pace going although at least there's hope that maybe you'll eventually get to a point where you can have dry feet Hmm. Does Thora know where he is now at this point? Nope. You've n you've not been this side. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Do we see the trees at this point, or are we in the trees? Yeah. Say you can see the trees on the highs, and after traveling a, a bit of a while more. <laughs> uh, well, 
Thorin's gonna keep going. There's no point in stopping because he doesn't want to find another one of those monsters. Don't stop me now. So. Kyan, Zoha, any anything? How close are the trees to each other? Perceive the distance. Can we perceive? Oh, you mean like how 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 much shrubbery? How much there is, a, high, to there the is a high volume of shrubbery. How much further to the tree line? Mm. I want to say, I want to say about half an hour. Great, the I current keep... pace. Great, cool. Keep, keep, keep going. We'll climb a tree later. You know, Hi Yen, regarding. Regarding myself and Thorn sparring the next time we set up camp, the offer is extended to you as well. I have a theory regarding our, um, he nods to the sword slung on his back. Fred. And I wish to test it out. It might. Yeah, well. The only information I've got on him as of late it is more information about me and Gooball here. Hmm. Thorin uh. just looks over his shoulder. At least you both have gotten something useful. This one is just a straight horn dog who loves to chase after any long legged female. To Debbie Fair. I don't need long legs all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Not always a lot leg touching man. The hammer. <laughs> that doesn't well, touching you. Damn it. Well <sighs> to be, I must Go ahead. To be, to be fair, yours at least give us some form of information on where where to find the other two. Thorin yeah. looks like he was gonna debate that for a second, and then raises a finger. At, I don't know. Never yours, mind. Yours persuade. I definitely know yours persuade. It mine. Mine. Hmm. Interesting. Perhaps I should write that down later. When we're not up to our ankles in mud. And Phil, don't. <laughs> Everyone just everybody. makes a note. Keep an, uh, keep track of where we're going. We should map this out. Not to worry. I've been making some rudimentary sketches of our path through, though. Uh, without the proper tools, I'm afraid it won't be anything more than a rough sketch. I'll yeah, help but... you with that later. First tree I'm fucking get. Yeah, I'm continuing. I mean, that's. Sh I'm continuing. I mean, taking a break. Uh, I can are you? I literally have nothing aside from cantrips. <laughs> uh, yeah, understood. Cayenne, understood. I must admit that shambling mound of moss and vines really caused my surprise. <coughs> Squish, 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 squish. Squishing what? Mud. Uh. Have you, out of curiosity, have both of you conversed with your respective weapons about uh, improvements they could give you? I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, Sabakazi is strong by herself, but I feel like she's holding back. Hiding. <laughs> Not necessarily. No, more holding back. I feel as we get stronger, more, more abilities will be presented. 
But I feel we need to earn it. Although that's just my opinion when it comes to Sabakaze. I'm not sure about Thor Track. Mm. Akor glances at the spear Ayen has. <clears throat> I'm not sure about those two. And I might and I'm even less sure about Rill's bow. It's a lot we don't know. No, yeah, that's true. <laughs> I guess I guess we'll have to try something. She did say something of note. She did say she was proud that I am taking the act of wielding her seriously. Perhaps that's a clue. If anything, I'm not sure. It's probably different for each one of them. As to what each condition is, uh... I don't know. I, uh, I'm feeling yours involves, uh... Talking to women. Either that or finding the other shattered remnants of Thordrak. If memory serves, the one we found down in the mines was his buttocks. That's part of me. <laughs> of course, only I'm the one who can hear that. He's <laughs> just. Then with then with Kain's spear, maybe it's maybe it's something more of an intellectual thing. Something more perhaps something to do with spells, in which case I unfortunately cannot help with that. Though I can cast spells through Sabakaze, I am no spellcaster. Uh, that I can't help you with. Oh. I guess that's that conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I was waiting for so. someone to respond, and it's just like yeah, go, silence. Oh. Good, good, good to know that our group is still antisocial. It's not antisocial. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so, Thor doesn't know how to respond to that. So maybe I did notice something during our sojourn up north. The more yeah. I use the spells from Sabakaze, the more power I... I want to say unlock? I mean, I, use, I was using Gus multiple times to get rid of all the snow, then... Somehow, I was able to use a Thunder Spell. Thorin just stops it and turns around and stares with, at Zoho with this absolute look of like... That was all your fault. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, yes, I will accept responsibility for the resulting avalanche. That was, uh, what's the phrase? My bad. Thor just raises an eyebrow, but he looks somewhat mollified. <laughs> uh, responds with. You were not stuck tumbling through the snow, held onto by a bear. At least you managed to stay not buried. Mm, I think I did get buried. Thorin doesn't know. He would just shot lasers to the snow to take that off, to to start getting out. <laughs> 
Yeah, since Zoho was trapped. He had to wait for the others to grab him. <laughs> well, uh, but uh, maybe that's a clue as to how to, I don't know, synergize with our weapons? Perhaps Thorin is just staring our, at Thordrak. Perhaps if we use our abilities more, we can better synergize with them and we can unlock other abilities. It's only a theory, really. And Thorin just looks at Thordrak, and how, pray tell, am I supposed to do this with you? It's almost certainly not the same as with my companion and Tavakaze. Kai. <laughs> They're all different. Uh, Thorin risen an eyebrow. How so? Wait, are you asking me or are you asking Fordrak? Fordrak. I am forcing you to do voices. <laughs> okay, because you said you said my name, which I I know. Was, uh, out of character the, question. No, because uh, I looked down at the hammer and that statement wasn't directed to Zoho, so I was like. Okay, so what's the actual que what's the question slash statement? Uh. How to unlock abilities and such, as Thorin assumes they're all different. Mm. Basically, how to do what uh, Zoho did. Yeah, we well, unlock gonna... Thunderclap. One moment. Yeah. Point, pointing top to the stream. I think he resized something by accident. I'm sorry, what? I think he resized the stream capture by accident. No? Why? What's wrong? You've got a massive black border when I've got the stream on. Not on my end. Oh, no, it's my thing being weird. Never mind. Alright. Anyways, continuing. Yes, the, 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 I'm not gonna do the voice, just do it. Because it's all like, <laughs> what do you expect? I'll be They're right all back. different people. Mm. Uh, Thorin responds with, so how do I do so with you? Do what? Thorin just... How do I further my relationship with you to f unlock your full potential as a weapon and a, com a partner? Oh dear. Bye, Zyka. So could not have put that better. Thank you. Well, if you take me on a date first, that could be a good start. <laughs> Thorin is amused with the notion and at the same time slightly confused. How are you suggesting I go out with a lady and just take you along or go out on a date specifically with you? <laughs> Clarification is needed. <laughs> well, you said you wanted to get close to me and if you if you want to experiment this, this... <laughs> uh, I've been through that phase, but I think I can make a exception for the moment. Lauren is just flabbergasted. I'm back. And like, oh, okay. Uh, not really interested in that. Yeah, it's not all that cracked up to what, it, what it's cracked up to be. Yeah, especially when you're doing it with a hammer. Mm. You're not here. I'm wow. not a character. What did he say? Uh, he's dodging the question. Really? Uh, uh, the few interactions I had with Thorjack, he seemed pretty straightforward. He's not. He likes to beat around the bush. So to speak. <laughs> Thorin looks around at all the shrubbery as he says this. And he definitely beats, because he's a hammer! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. No, bad. <laughs> My response to this. Uh, <laughs> moving on. 
Thorin doesn't know where to go from here, so he's just gonna figure it out on the fly. Looks at Zoho. It's kind of like... We probably should try to pick up the pace. It's going to get dark soon. Probably. Yeah. I don't remember yeah. what time of day it is now. <laughs> Good been job, not two weeks. Weeks. It's been a while. Wow! Looks up at the sky. Do we roll something? Uh, <laughs> the no, ability to honest, see. Might... Actually, no, to be honest, you may actually be right. It may be starting to get late in the day. Uh, you started at the beginning of the day on the island, then had to sail a bit. Yeah. Yay. I think it was like midday when we got off the boat and started trekking through the mud. Yeah. And you're still. Uh... Well, you said less than a half an hour from the trees, so. Yeah. At this point, no, we just, gotta I, be at I'm the just trees. checking the calendar. Give me a second. You got a bit more time. You are. You're at near the end of winter, season wise. No, so we got well, it is possibly sa it is safe to say. You're pretty late in. It's definitely late in the day, not like evening, though. Mm. So you make your way to the tree line, which is where I believe people are going to attempt to rest again. Mm hmm. Um, as you find yourself at the tree line, it's like. It's still very muddy. Now crossed with many tree roots. Everything seems very damp. Okay. Well, made it to the tree line, but it's still muddy. Looks like I had. You said you wanted to take a break. Kyan is not here right now. <laughs> I think at this point it's. Please yes. leave a message after the tone. Oh, Kayat, a message. Yes, please. Are we at the tree? So we're in the trees now? Yeah, so we're at, yeah, we're at the trees. It's still damp, but there are lots of roots around in the mud. Ah, uh, Thorin's looking up at the trees. Are any of them big enough for all three of them to, or not all three of them, everybody just sit in? Any of the big enough of them. There are. As you get to the tree line, it is quite a. Quickly becomes quite a dense tree line. Oh, so these are not small. Or trees. you are transferring from marshland to swamp. That's the difference. Swamps have trees. They have layers. Are they big and enough oh, to support everyone? Uh, so I would say you could find enough enough space within various trees to get out of the mud. Uh, How good of a climber are you? I don't think I have a climb speed. <laughs> no, I just can't climb. He has a 45 foot climb speed. Well, Thorin no. is at a disadvantage here. Okay, so we'll have you roll an athletics check with disadvantage. Fuck. Uh, oh. I forgot to open my sheet. That would help. Hmm. Yes, it would. Yeah, I'm guessing a straight roll for the rest of us? Cayenne is spider climb. Cayenne can... No, you can have a... You can roll with uh, advantage. Oh. You're and also, I have the athlete climb. feet. With disadvantage, you said? Yep. You're more <laughs> of a ground drop dweller than a tree. tree. Oh, you've rolled a 10 on both. Congratulations, Zoho is able to find himself 
pretty easily perching himself in a tree to a point where he doesn't have to, like, hold on so much. Congratulations, Farad. You didn't fall on your ass. You were able to get yourself a little bit into a tree. That's so you're off the ground. Ah. Oh. And you can freely gaze out upon the marshland. Do we see anything? Towards the swamps. No. Are you looking for stuff while you're like, looking around and stuff from your little perch in a yeah. low end of a tree? Roll a perception then. Uh. Hmm. Shit, my token is on the map. <laughs> I'm thinking about that for a sec. Perception. Hey. Cool. As you look out across the marshland, you can see the sun fairly low in the sky. You feel like you've got a, another hour or two of daylight left before it goes dark, and as you let, look back to, into further into the trees, you can see the ground is quite muddy, everything is wet, up to, actually, it gets wet pretty high in some places in re when you're looking at some of the trees that are nearby. And looking further in, you can you start to notice the sounds of the wildlife that's hiding amongst the trees. The insects buzzing. The occasional sound of rustling leaves and you can see as you look further in the canopy of trees becomes quite thick quite quickly oh. it will clearly become darker in the tree line faster than other places But you perceive no all... immediate threats. I hope Arthur is alright. I mean, he did take off in, in the form of flight, but I worry. She should be fine. So, why don't you guys take your short rest over there? I guess I should go jump to Arthur, right? <laughs> yeah. So, oh, I believe I left you off where... I'm flying through the tree, past the trees, well, yeah. Your, your time on the wild shape is coming to an end, and I believe we were heading... North. I have not yeah. been following the tree line. Yeah, you gave up on following this tree now. And started heading north. Mm-hmm. And you can sense that the time on your form is nearing its end. Oh no, I'm gonna get stuck permanently in this form. I mean, what? And at that moment, Otto turns into a sparrow. To live life free. Never to be seen for by, by anyone again. No. Uh, <laughs> no, you, you, you know roughly how long... You, you can sense when your time limit's, like, coming up. Yeah. You can feel, like, the, your body wanting to revert, like, revert back. And there is no immediate signs of like clear, like, I, I guess the equivalent of a clearing. <laughs> I guess I look for a branch that is open enough for me to perch and also transform safely on. 
No, you, you can, if you want to head down into the tree line, there's space for you to, like, do that. But okay. I'm saying there's no, like, obvious, like, large clearing or that you could, like, he see within your vicinity. So it's more a case of, like, just finding somewhere that's just open enough for you to get your larger okay. form of raven actually down before you forcibly ejected. <laughs> yeah. Into I'll... a humanoid form with no ability to fly. I'll do that. And as you settle that, like, come in, la like, the head down, quickly dropping to get below tr the tree line. The, not the tree line, the canopy. Get the wording right. Dropping below the canopy. You. You land, and brief, like briefly looking around where you are, you, it's it's I'll say dim light at this point in time. The sun isn't set, but the canopy is thick, and you can just see where little bits are coming through where you, and where you've like dropped through. There's a bit of light coming through, but. It's dim, pretty much everywhere else. The ground is soft and wet, but firm enough that you don't just sink. Okay. And there are various tree roots kind of like sticking out the ground and less grass, like grass around and Still a fair amount of shrubs dotted about where they they can get gleam a little bit of light. Shrubbery. Hmm. Shrubbery. Well, uh, I'm going to <clears throat> detransform, and I, be I cannot remember if I have a transformation left or not. I don't think you do, because you haven't rested yet. I could just convert one, though. Because uh, you did a rest on the boat, but that's what gave you this form, because you had already used two in the... Actually, I didn't rest. No, you didn't rest. I was... This was definitely your last one. Yeah, I was I was the, uh, the steering man. I couldn't rest. Uh... Yeah, that would have been your... Definitely would have been your last one, then. Why are mine reset to three? Oh, that's hidden stuff. Never mind. Okay. Um, what level do I have to burn to get a transformation back? Does it matter? Uh, it's just any spell, but it's always one regardless of what spell slot. Or if you take a short rest once per day, you can get one back that way. Which, if you didn't rest, you can attempt to now if you want, or you can... It, it, so I'm not sinking into the ground slot. at all? It's soft, it's squishy, it's muddy, it's swampy, mm. but it's firm enough that you're not actually, like, losing your feet where you are. There may be points in time, but... Mm. It squelches. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. it. Doesn't, but it doesn't really have the suck at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> maximum suck. Uh, I'll, I'll take a short rest. Okay, so are you going to attempt to set up, or are you just, like, nearest thing I could sit on kind of deal? Yeah, nearest thing I could sit on. That okay. is like a rock, or may maybe something, like, more solid. Tree root. Yeah, that'll work. There's a lot of tree roots. Yeah, that'll work pick. perfectly. Would you like to clean it first? <laughs> Oh, Why? Okay, you're a druid. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I'm like, I'm kind of a druid, but I'm also kind of like cleanly, kind of. You, 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 as you sit there with your like taking a break to re like rejuvenate a little bit, it's like you're kind of like thinking. This feels a little. It it's this awkward thing where it. It feels like home, but something strange because you know it's not. Mm-hmm. 
there is many similarities to where you are now to like where you are from which gives you this feeling with all the trees and things around but it's a different feeling of nature a weird uh, nostalgia can you roll an insight sure Oh, okay. You, you, you rolled it to yourself, didn't you? What? Hey! That's... Because it didn't come up on my screen. Why did I it roll to myself? Yeah, numbers. why did it roll to myself? I, it's weird. I don't have a set to, to roll. roll to self. No, it's not, I actually. It. Yeah, because I just fixed it. That, that yeah, definitely wasn't that not a stream. choice. That's definitely not a choice that I made. No, it might have been me accidentally clicking it when I was trying to find something. Okay. So it's a 21. Uh, if you roll to self, it stops the chat basically spamming with yeah. anything if you, when you're trying to fix things and whatnot. I Sorry. rolled a 21, yeah. So... Um, you're sitting there having your rest, thinking whatever thoughts it is you're thinking. And you eventually realize why. It feels like something's watching you. <clears throat> Hugh Michael Jackson? You got this little sense that something is watching, but you don't know where, and you can't pinpoint, like, intent. It's just that awkward feeling of not being alone. Hmm. But hey, it could just be all the, the creatures and stuff around you. And there's a swamp, it, you, you would expect it to be teeming with various life. Yeah, audio. Uh, uh, audio is just like, eh. This reminds me of home. Which is where I wish I could go back to right now. Anything's better than enduring this garbage. I was definitely better off. <laughs> Druid calling a swamp garbage. Mm. No, no, not the swamp, <laughs> the situation he's in. Okay. <laughs> that makes more sense. I mean, I made mistakes back in the past, but never one this bad. <sighs> more things change, the more things stay the same, I suppose. And history is cursed to repeat itself. He just continues to muse as he rests. Okay. So you get yourself a short rest. All right. So you get one use of animal forms back and whatever else when you click the button. Mm. I don't think the animal forms will update correctly. That's why I'm nope. saying. Nope. Because it's been changed. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I got anything back from resting besides the animal form. That is a point. I think that is the main thing you get back is your animal shit. Mm-hmm. It's better than nothing. So, yep. What are you doing upon completion of your short rest? 
Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and transform and take off again. With a intent to purpose all? Oh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Hmm. Apparently, also refuses to stay on the ground now nowadays. No, not necessarily. If the ground is firm enough, the ground is firm enough to walk. It's just swampy, squitch, squitch, squitch. Look out for that tree. But if you want to turn into a bird again and start flying, I need to know where you're flying. Yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm actually going to be doing this instead. Become a okay, we're going ground. Going on the ground. Because I can't see the ground from the trees. I'd rather be able to see the ground. That and... is a choice. That makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I didn't want that one. I wanted that one underneath it. Thank you. And I'm going to continue to head north, but also use my sense of smell to see if I can't sense any, uh, what's the word, village or, uh... Can I find any villages in this valley? Yeah, can, can, I, can I find anything, okay. like, living spaces nearby? That could indeed be something in the swamp. Be a whole village of gnomes or something. Who knows? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I thought I clicked I that. I... Oh, I clicked wolf bite instead. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, fifty-six. We have fifty-six, and then we add sixteen. Advantage on perception using sense of smell. Right. Uh, pick a direction of chat travel. Still going north. Roughly the same direction. Mm hmm Okay. Let's grab a slightly new color. <clears throat> Explore. So. I'm gonna head north. So. As I stated before. It is dim light under this tree canopy, especially now as the sun is much lower in the sky, less light is killing the angle that need. And you start wandering through the swamp. And uh, nose to the ground for some various reason. Uh, just to see if I can't find an, uh, a village or a domicile or something that we could like spend the night at or something. Some uh, what's the word? what's the word I'm looking? Civilization. Um, civilization. Dookie. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this brand one. Pick it up there. Barring that, somewhere safe to stay for the night. Mm. That worked. I think that worked. Mm hmm. Have a random swamp map. <gasps> I love random. Uh, I put your token down the bomb, seeing as you said you will treat up as north. Yeah. It's a good default. <clears throat> the bits that look like water, they're, they're thick mud. Mm -hmm. I thought that was grass, actually. Oh, uh, the bit you're standing, your, your wolf is standing on is grass. Okay. Actually, let me just put this token closer down here, so if we need it. That's a so, shiny new icon I've got on my character. It's poison. That's my reminder. Mm-hmm. So. 
semi aimlessly wandering through a swamp. I say a semi aimlessly. There is a purpose. You just don't really know which way to go, other than roughly forward. <laughs> so, uh, as you travel, you come across various areas that are still like water. Uh, that you kind of have to navigate around and whatnot, and it's a bit easy. It's not. I don't want to say it's necessary. Uh, no, wait. <clears throat> no, it, it will say it's difficult terrain because then I can keep it consistent. Because there are a lot of tree roots, and there are it's there is various pull. I'm just not going to track every single little bit that is a bit of mud and whatnot, we'll just say it's all mud. Mm -hmm. It's easier that way. So as you travel around, kind of keeping keeping your head up and stuff in unfamiliar territory, looking for any signs of life or any better place to sell up for a night, I guess. Yep. Whether that be civilization or not. Uh, you head northward into the dense swamp. I think I'm going to need an in, uh, either an inf perception or investigation. Perception or investigation. Those were the words I was looking for. That wasn't to myself again, was it? Oh, no, no, it's fine. Um, interpreting, because that's a high roar. Pretty, that's a pretty good roar. So, as you're traveling... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I just noticed uh, all of the sheets are available to me, so I could literally just go, Hey, look, I'm Thorin! Anyway, uh, sorry, tangent. Yeah. So as you are traveling through the swamp, you still have this odd feeling of being watched that's making you feel a little, a little uncomfortable. <laughs> And as you travel and come across across a area, a larger area of water ahead of you, near you, around you, like where the water is actually sitting, where the ground lies lower, mm -hmm. it's like below the water line. Yeah. Your senses are saying don't, don't, don't step into the water. Your, your, your instincts are going... Skirt the edge, don't go through. Like, don't go through the water. Well, who am I to ignore that? So... Actually, no, this map actually makes sense if I do it this way. See, see this coloration? Yeah, that's the water. We'll, we'll say this is the bit you're navigating. The, this this will be the watery bits. And you're trying to make your way through. And it's difficult terrain, so your speed is... I want to say... 25? So, we're taking a little, little bit of a time. Excuse me, Mr. Root Planner. <laughs> Don't make me turn on dynamic lighting. <laughs> oh, dear. And, scram and throw you onto another random map. 
<laughs> All right, fair enough. I will do it. There is no need for squiggles. You can see the map depth. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll delete it. A little bit at a time. Your move speed is currently 25 due to the terrain, nasty mud, and also kind of makes sense that you perceived so high. You and you're like, no, I don't want to go in the water. Uh. Eh. Okay. So, trying to I uh space that you can traverse. You start moving forward. You are fine. You may move again. You are fine. You may move again. Or you can stand there nervously. No, I'm I'm moving. I'm moving. Hang on. <laughs> right. So as you head around this tree, uh, now I'll put a bit of squiggle just so you can for reference. Those, that, that those few squares are connected by water. I'm not seeing the squiggles. I think you might be onto the DM layer. Oh yeah, I did. I did. Oh yeah, there's hotkeys. Maybe I... <sighs> the uh... I always get my hotkeys messed up. Hmm. It's not. It's not a. Not a big chunky bit of water, but it is a. It is a slight obstacle, depending on how you look at it. About five foot wide. I'm gonna jump it. <laughs> gonna jump it. Okay. So you hop over. So we'll just. Up you down. And the mud beneath you scrouches as your the weight of your wolf form pushes down. You sink a little bit, but you're okay. You did not disturb the water. Take another turn. Okay, so as you head across this head across this bit in landmass, you pass by yourself uh, a nice little mushroom colony near the base of this tree. Can I tell if it's safe? To Would eat, you like I to mean? Attempt? Would you like to try and figure it out? I only have one transformation. I don't think so. Under other circumstances, I would, but not now. You can, but to like identify them properly, you would need to transform back. But then no the brief luck. You would are basically be giving you disadvantage. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. I'd have to transform, uh, transform to collect it anyway. Okay. So, briefly distracted by the, it's like, oh, look, mushrooms, wonder if they're edible, hmm, no, wait, maybe not, I've got limited, limited time and stuff, I need to figure out where I'm heading, it's like you head back onto your journey, 
At this point, we'll have another perception check. To navigate your way through the next bit. <laughs> oh. You can see that this way is clearly water. Like, and it appears to be deeper than the rest, and same on this side. You think you spot a way through... <coughs> like, this way, towards this next tree? Mm-hmm. Here. And the ground does look firm enough. Or your other option is most of the No. What? Do you not do trust. Jump? Nope. Uh. That's the main water line there. And then it kind of like goes around this tree over there. If it's on the other side for the locking left from your yeah. perspective. So you got right, left. Landmass seems to go this way, but it looks more muddy than where you currently are. <laughs> So, as you pass that way, I would like you to roll initiative. No. Okay. Uh, I attempted to do something without a touch. God damn it. I require this to be a bit smaller, please. Thank you. Uh, turn tracker, where are you going? Oh, I don't know. Holy shit. Uh, right, okay. So you actually have first turn. <laughs> okay. You, as you head over this muddy, la like, over this area of land that seems to be more mud, mud sodden? Is that the word? I think that might be the word. Mm -hmm. Sodden with mud. It's like, you, you feel your paws kind of like sinking more than they were previously, and like, the squelch and... As you lift your paws up, you notice that the holes that you've left are actually slightly pooling with water that's like seeped in, like seeped into it. And you take a second, like second moment to kind of rejudge the path, but you think it's still fine. But you know, you hear. The, the water ripple from just behind where you eyed you in regards to which way you came from. So like, here-ish? Yeah, the patch of water just behind you. <laughs> you waiting for my reaction? Yes, it's your turn, so it's just that's all the information I can give you because no, it's your no, time I'm just, to roll I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. Uh, hmm. Uh, 
You know it wasn't you. <laughs> so you're going that way? Mm-hmm. Anything else? No, that's about it. I am moving half speed because it is difficult terrain. Okay. I was just checking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so put this on the correct lane now. That's behind you. Oh no, a gator. I totally didn't expect it. <laughs> a large gator come uh, unsubmerges from the deeper water. As it follows the edge of the water around to you. And tries to bite you. And nap you in its jaws. Uh, your current AC, please. Uh, I think it's 16? Oh, 17. Okay. Seventeen. Okay, so mm, unu it seems unusually fast for its size, but the water is its home in here. Uh, moving quickly and swiftly, it comes up to behind you and nabs your leg in its jaws. Could you make a strength saving throw, please? No! <laughs> well, that was... Well, that I, was unfortunate. <laughs> I'm in the water! <laughs> you take 17 points of piercing damage. Oof. As it clamps its jaws on you. <laughs> and drags me in. And you are currently grappled by a giant fucking... <laughs> giant fucking cocky guy. Um... Excuse me. Oh boy. <laughs> um. Good news what is that's its turn. <laughs> uh, what? Get... So I was wondering when to get back to the others. Well, I'm currently in combat. Momentarily, because this probably won't take long. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we'll turn there. So you are currently grappled by a giant croc. And how much time do I have left on the transformation? Just, and I just realized his token size is way too big. Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, <laughs> I... Like, I was, it's like he's meant to be that a size up compared to normal tokens. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and, uh... Hmm. You're currently grappled. How much time do I have left on the transformation? It's roll a dice. Roll a d4. Two hours! Okay. Ah, uh, I'll fight back. Oh, he's choosing to fight back. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Well, that seems to throw the croc off guard a little bit.
it's still on you, but you feel like the hesitation in its uh, in its intent. Okay, uh, I'm gonna burn a level three to heal as well. Uh, I think you've only lost shit. Are you even out of your temporary hit points? Oh, wait. No, no, you're right. Yes, sorry. I forgot about that. Yeah, you're only one out of your temporary hit points, so you're only going to heal one. Yeah, no. At most. Yeah, no, no. Uh, I'm going to try and move away. You have zero move speed because you are currently grappled. That's what I thought. Okay. And I've already done something, so I can't exactly pull, pull free. Okay. Let's see if he actually does anything on his turn. Uh... No, that's the... Nope, he, 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 he has the states. Alright, uh... He's grabbed you, but he's unsure of whether, like... It... it, 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 it uh, it's the howl is un, un unnerving. It's 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 basically making up its mind whether this is worth the fight or not. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 attempt to break free. Uh, that will be a athletics. Taking a brief, brief moment of its, the brief moment of its hesitating, you are able to break free of its jaws. Man, I'm gonna run north. So that's an action. I'm leaving. Okay, so you need to move. Okay. Upon you managing to successfully break free, it seems to not want to follow you upon cross land. Congratulations, you survived. <laughs> <laughs> I continue to go north. <laughs> and you continue on your way north. At which point, I will now head over to the other group. <laughs> as, you figure out what your as you figure out what your next plan is, yeah. that could have gone horribly, horribly wrong. I know! <laughs> so. Heading back to the other group. I believe Faye may actually be back now. Are you alive? Yes, yes I have been. You guys successfully completed your short rest. So oh, thank you God. And hit die and click your button and do the stuff. Great. Uh... Let's see, it's 1d8 plus con, right? Yeah, it, 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 it's. One of these. If you click hit dice on your sheet, it will just roll the correct number. Because it will add your con mod. Uh, It'll roll X number of dice and then try and add the appropriate number of con modifiers. Uh, I just switched back to the page and found there is a crocodile here. Well, so I use... Soho used a second wind for a short rest to regain some hit points. Uh... That's fine, I believe second wind just uses your hit, lets you spend hit dice anyway. 1d10 plus fire level. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't, wouldn't make it. Oh, but you get the extra fire level. Okay, yeah. You got a little extra healing out of it, I see. Who, tr hey. who drew the alligator? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Mm. <laughs> Potentially the one with... with... But yeah, potentially the one that has the backup visuals <laughs> and audio. So, you guys managed to like get yourself a break on the 
uh, near the green line. Doing so, you could have done either had the conversation, but that you had walking, continued that, yada yada yada. Mm -hmm. What is your plan going forward? Uh, continue moving north into the into the trees. Yep, because right now I do not have any way of con of contacting Ingato to find out where the fuck he went. <laughs> yeah, we're lost. Okay, so going purely on the fact that he went that way and maybe a little on foreign knowing that they need you need to head at least in this general direction through the swamp. That was the... I believe that was the decision, because straight lines usually tend to be faster, right? Yep. Yes. Hopefully you can make it through the swamp and Farron will actually know where he is. Who knows? We'll find out. Love one. Not anytime soon. <laughs> so, you guys start heading in into the tree line, and as you further head further into the actual swamp itself. You, the <laughs> sun, not, the sun itself doesn't fade, but as the can, like, the canopy gets thicker, less light is going here, and it's, uh, becomes much darker. And you can see the trees around you make it awkward for you to actually see too far up. Effectively too far ahead of you at times, but you stay focused on use. You're using your compass, right, Farron? Yes. Okay, good. Using keep, using your compass, you are able to keep a fairly straight heading northward. Yeah. Traveling through the swamp. So still haven't seen Ow. the road. Still following the compass. So, are you going to just keep heading until it gets too dark? Uh, are gonna you going to keep an eye to, out uh, for a place to camp. As I trudge along, do I see anything? Uh, make perception. <laughs> I was going to say perception or investigation. Yes. I just remembered you're a dwarf, so you have dark vision. So it's uh, perception yeah. or investigation. No weird shenanigans. Not one. What the fuck? <laughs> so, far in, <laughs> looking around, it's like, that's a lot of, a lot of mud. Do we still have sta um not stamina, but the... No, uh, not using it anymore, because uh, that wasn't working as intended. I said that way way long time ago, and people still think it's a, it's a thing. <laughs> okay. It was an attempt at something, and it wasn't working as intended, so... No, we're currently not using that. Um... Yeah, foreign. You have a nice compass. Uh -oh. oh no! No wait, no. He's got a. It's a very nice compass. Yeah. He rolled in that one. He's not paying much attention to where he's yeah. going. Yeah. Right? It's just kind of. It's like it's like no, gotta keep. Uh, just constantly checking compass, checking check. Can you make a dexterity saving throw, please? Oh god, that would be horrible if I dropped this now. Says normal. Jack, please don't fail me. Failed me. Can so I? As you guys, as you guys are traveling along, um, what what is your like travel order? Who's front? Who's back? I'm front. Who's on first? I'm okay. front. I I'm guess. behind. I'm behind Thorin. So I'd be last because I. Because the only two with dark vision at this point is me and Thorin. Okay, cool. So, Farin. Yeah. You, you look up. You briefly look ahead of you. You look back I down at the compass. compass. <laughs> uh, and you trip 
on what you believe to be a tree, tree rune. And for the people walking behind Varen, you would just see him wa wa walking perfectly fine. He looks down, and then suddenly Varen gets a lot shorter as he literally flies forward and lands flat in the mud. Do I still have the compass in hand? You have your compass in hand. And as you lift your face out, out of the mud. Oh no, what do I see? You hear... hissing. Mm. And as you wipe the mud out your face, in front of you, that be snake. Oh, snakes. Why has it got to be snakes? Snakes. Got in, snakes. <laughs> uh, Thorin immediately freezes. Like, he looks like a statue frozen. So you're literally kind of, so Farin is currently kind of like lying in the mud with his head kind of like facing forward, not moving. Ah, I can't tell. I don't know if this thing is poisonous, but I'm assuming so because we're in the middle of a fucking swamp. Okay, so we don't eat it. Well, you you guys don't know what's going on. All you see is me looking up at something while lying in the mud. And yeah, Farin fell flat on his face, and as he's gotten himself up, he's just stopped moving. That, yeah. That's what you two currently see. I try to follow his line of sight. Perception <laughs> check. Does blind sight help me? <laughs> Not unless you're standing on top of him. I just hear his. Zoho just hears his saying, uh, Thorin! You're right. Okay. Thorin does not respond. <clears throat> Pick up the shiny rock. Kai, you can see a snake yeah. coiled up in a defensive pose in front of Thorin. Nature check to see if I know how to get out of the situation without it attacking. Uh, you may roll nature. <laughs> <laughs> you may attempt. <laughs> it's a snake. You have no idea what type of snake. <laughs> it's a snake. So in other words, Kyan does not. Fairly, no, fairly just... chunky snake. <laughs> so in other words, you, do Kayan not know, you, you wouldn't know. You don't. Can't tell what snake it is. Can't tell where it's poisonous. Uh, oh no, it's not oh. that. It's it's uh, know how to back out of the situation, and to not get the snake to attack. I don't care about knowing what type of snake it is. No idea. It's a snake. You kind of like. Uh, you're probably thinking your fall process is probably very similar to Farns. It's like. Don't <laughs> move. <laughs> yeah. Zaha, um, would you like to make a perception check? Uh, perception? Yep. Ow. Uh, you can also see in front of Farin, and you can slightly hit, you can hear the slight hiss. There, a snake. Great. Oh Thorin, don't make any sudden movements. Thorin is just stone still. Um, let's see what to do. How to deal with snakes? Um. Um, how to deal with snakes? I, I'm pretty, sh pretty sure the head monk mentioned this. I don't, yeah. think it, I don't think it's smart. How do you figure? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Most of them are a fin. 
continue to resisting things, I could spook it, and then we book it like thirty feet of direction in that eight. We just book it a bit in a direction that it doesn't go. Right. Either that, or either that, or we slowly back up and go around. All right. Torn, try to back away from the snake. Very slowly, very carefully. One step at a time. I, I slowly... He, he's up. lying on the floor in the mud. <laughs> yeah, you can crawl. Crawl back. Uh, Thorin slowly crawls backwards. I, I slowly get off to a side, a side to, uh... Basically, I'm holding action in lightning lure, in case it does decide to try to pounce Thorin. Okay, so Thorin's going to start sh slowly shuffling back. Yeah. Yeah. So Thorin is getting very muddy right now. <laughs> As you slowly start to move fucking backwards, care. <laughs> the snake's head lifts up a little higher. Mm, Thorin stops. <laughs> Fuck. Thorin is like trying not to be intimidating here. It is not working. This thing does not like this very much. That's all it did. It lifted its head a bit. Thorin starts backing up again very slowly. Very slowly. Through the mud, you can feel it. You can kind of feel it going like some of it's starting to scoop up underneath your shirt. Or tunic, or whatever it is you're wearing. Oh, and, it's, <laughs> and you can feel it squelching like under your elbows as you're kind of shuffling back. Ah, Don't care, it. getting away. But after you move back, about just a bit, about basically like a square, five feet. It's like as you slowly shuffle back, it's sort of like the snake kind of, kind of like doesn't settle down, but it, it's holding its position. Okay, Thor's just gonna keep backing up. So you back up a bit more. Am Snake. I out of reach? Snake continues to watch you. you. You're probably out of reach. You probably were out of reach last time, but just to make sure. Okay, well, I, uh, Thorin is now gonna stand up and move away. So you stand up and you move away from the snake. It does not follow. Cool. Great. You have, all a good, you have a, a good inch of mud caked all up up your front, <laughs> in your beard. Uh, I, I, I look at Kai. Farin, Farin looks like he bailed out of a uh, like spa uh, day. That's not what I clicked. I press press the hesitation. Fuck you. Chunk. Mud's gone. Thorin is very grateful. Most of the mud is gone. Which mud isn't? Instantaneously clean. Yeah, it's like suddenly you slap across the face. Where'd all the mud go? Oh, all the mud on your face and your front and stuff is gone. Oh. Kyan doesn't know about the mud up your shirt. <laughs> uh, Thorin flaps his shirt, does a little, little bit of mud that comes out. It's just this blob of mud just kind of like falls out of the bottom of your shirt. Oh, I keep doing it until leaving that, no leaving mud. A it, it feels <laughs> sticky on your tummy <laughs> where it was stuck. Hi. Well, I, I keep doing it until there's no mud. <laughs> Would you like to rub his tummy clean? 
No, I don't have to fucking touch him. <laughs> oh my god. Now you're weird. I'm not weird, you have to, like, have to have fun with it. Also, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, you need to see. <laughs> Otherwise, people would just be creating floating poos everywhere when they're disgusting. Um, right. Okay. So, after looking a little foolish. Yeah. And a little panic stricken. You meander, your, oh, meander a bit away around where the snake was. Just to be sure. And I guess continue heading northward? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you head on your journey a bit more. Suppose we'll have someone else roll the perception or investigation this time. Sure. So I'll we'll... do it. There it is. And you're starting to n notice not really a pattern, but in regards to like your surroundings and what's going on, it's like Even though it's randomly, like, trees and things are randomly scattered, for the most part, like, where the air, like, where it opens up enough to, there are sh places where you would think would open up enough for you to, like, put a, set up a tent. Tent being much more muddy compared to where the all the tree roots and things are mm. as you're traveling. Obviously, not really going to be setting up the tents over the tree roots and things because that's all bubbly and not. But there's not really much flat ground, so to speak, of except for the really muddy bits. Right. Hmm. And you can also tell that the sun is, y you must be in the evening now, as it feels like it's getting darker. Yikes. Uh, I'm going to start watching. <laughs> and keeping an eye out on my surroundings while I watch. I guess while I walk, whatever. Yeah, I'm hoping to. Where you going? Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Do we find like anything at all where we can camp safely? Define safely. Ugh. Without being attacked by monsters or poisonous creatures. There's a, We're in a swamp. A, 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 you're in a swamp. That's not going to. There's no 100% guarantee. <laughs> Which means uh, we need to keep going through the swamp. Okay, okay. This is going to suck. <laughs> Thorin is not in the mood to do an all nighter after all the shit that's just happened. He is not running forced to do one all night. I'm just saying it's not a you, the, there's no guarantee. It's not like you can even if you like go to an inn, it's not a hundred percent guarantee okay. something won't Fair happen. Enough. 
It's like if you want to sell up in the flat muddy ground, you can sell up in the flat muddy ground. If you want to, tr and that's if you want a tent. You don't necessarily have to use a tent. There are other options on how to get a short rest. Like sleeping in a tree. Okay. Yes. Well, <laughs> Thorin will sleep in a tree if that's what everybody wants to do. It's more the question at the moment is more a case of how far are you pushing? Are you pushing until it actually gets pitch black, or are we? I'd oh say shit! It's getting dark. We need to. I'd figure say we out. stop now and wait until the morning. Yeah. We are not getting anywhere this way. Besides, Otto probably has a huge head start out on us. Even if we put it in the night, we'll be too exhausted. Let's, it, let's save our strength for the morning. He heads over to a nearby tree and starts climbing. Okay, so... Oh, follow suit. Right, in which case... I'd like an investigation from Zoho. Starters. Not twenty. What you Good got? Good job, Zoho. <laughs> it's not the first tree you come across, but you are able to like find a tree that you believe like is stable enough that you could work with to get yourself some form of rest. One with a nice, like, thick, thick branch that's at an angle that you can, like, prop yourself up and use various materials that you have at hand to maybe stop yourself falling out of it. Like a, like a, like a nearby vine I wrap around a leg to, to tether it to the branch. See, now your brain's starting to get the idea. <laughs> it's like, yes. It's like. Just because you can't set up a tent doesn't mean it's like put yourself in the tree and make sure you're not going to fall out. That's a good <laughs> idea. Thor yeah, is going to follow yeah. suit. So you're going to. So, sure you're... Sure so is that what you're actually? Vine. So is that what you're actually going to do? You're going to use a vine that's growing up a tree to like wrap around your legs. So if you fall out, it catches you. Yeah. Thorin has okay. rope in his bag. He's going to use the rope instead. Farin, I would like you to make, let's say, a slight hand check. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to tie yourself co correct. <laughs> he ties himself with a noose. <laughs> oh, look! You believe, it, you, believe, you, believe you have uh, tied yourself good enough to whichever <laughs> tree you have. So it'll be uh, the same tree I... as Zoho at this so, point. So, so, so. Are you tying a limb? Are you just tying yourself to the tree? Uh, around the waist. Around the waist. Hmm. And what but, are you um... going to do with your armor? Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> I guess... I guess like Zoho, I'll have to do leg. As I suddenly remember that... You, ha you can't get a long rest in armor. <laughs> right. So he has to do uh, the whole doffing and donning his armor. The <laughs> for uh, no shit. What Shisa. armor are you wearing? I think it's just leather. It's not. It's not heavy armor. Shaisa. Uh, okay, uh, unless first you didn't carry it over, in which case I don't know. <laughs> I told you to fill in your shit, and you didn't. <laughs> I did have it in the other sheet. No, you didn't copy the armor across. Uh... Oh, fuck's sakes. You copied the item, you forgot the armor, though. Uh, trying to remember the button to... <laughs> That's hilarious. I didn't I delete I... anything. No, I, I know it's funny because I thought I thought I I had copied everything over. Apparently, I missed something. Oh well. 
Mr. Original. You have a breastplate. Okay. So you might wanna let we might wanna add that before if we hit it. Breast plate. Hey, your AC is now correct. Lovely. Or at least while you're wearing it. <clears throat> so Breastplate takes five minutes to put on and one minute to take off. So it's not the worst armor. But yes, it does mean you, you will have to take it off to be able to rest properly. I'm just imagining Thordrak. Oh, yeah, take it off! <laughs> Meanwhile, all Kyan has to do is sit in the tree. Stop, you feel like you're being watched. <laughs> So Ho doesn't wear armor, so he doesn't have this problem. He doesn't think about. It. Don't think I wears armor either. And neither does a hawk. I'm going to assume that you're coming to like strap your packs up onto the like yes the or whatever, so they're not on yeah. the floor. Okay, okay. Hey, okay. Farin, you can use the other bit, the other, you've got 50 foot of rope, you can use the other end to tie the ar ar armor up to the tree, so hang it off the tree branch. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm gonna do so. Cayenne, what are you up to? Uh, Cayenne Other going... than hacking this whole bit. <laughs> uh, Cayenne's just gonna, uh, find a large enough branch that I can sit on, keep an eye on the two of them. Okay. That's the other thing. Who's doing watch? In which I'll order? do first watch. I'll take third watch. Okay. And, and I guess I get get watch uh, two Two, three, and four. I got three. No, you have five. Why did I get five? <laughs> no, you only need you four. You can't see in darkness. Oh. Uh, I need four. I'll take four then. Fine, I guess I get two. Fine, I guess I get two and three. <laughs> anyway, Cayenne's Wait, doing the Cayenne's doing the middle bit, right? That. Yep. Orange's doing the first bit. Cayenne's doing the middle bit. The hose doing the bit when the sun should be coming up. Okay, so I'll briefly head back over to Arlo to find out how far into his mission of traveling is he going. Uh, as far as this transformation will allow. Okay, so you're going to head in until it actually goes dark. Mm hmm. So. I believe it was two hours when you had your encounter with the thing based on randomizing shit. Something out. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes. Which worked out as the halfway point. Yeah. So, I would like another perception from you. What, me? No, for me. No, Otho. Ooh, spicy. He's a spicy. That's a spicy. Holy shit, you cannot... Wait a minute. My, uh, my perception bonus is like nine. Well, wait, that should be a critical. I rolled no, a 19. Roll a 19. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where the... Yeah, where's the mouse X? Come from? Yeah. Where's the extra free? My perception is se plus seven. The frick? An item on... Oh, right! Uh, wolf. Wolf form. Wolf, wolf. 
Oh, uh, what form is advantage on certain types of perception rolls? Oh, okay. Then I have it's no idea. It's a good roll. I'm just like, where's that extra free come from? Yeah, I'm kind of confused myself. It's a... Uh... 20, 26? Yeah, I believe it's that. actually meant to be a 26. It's adding an extra... 3 for some reason. Oh, I might have one of the numbers set wrong in the modifier bar okay. when I was figuring... Because I did roll a 19, connect. that much I know. And, and it's I a plus 7. I might accidentally double down on a... on a thing without realizing. <laughs> Uh, or, no, I've no, no, no. or I've put it in the wrong mod box and it's adding to the wrong damn skill. We, we, we noticed it, it's fine. Okay. So. Heading. So you're continuing until your form wears out. Mm-hmm. And uh, a 26. Uh, that's an awkward number. So, it is going to become dark before your form wears off. Yep. The light, the light will fade. Don't think you have dark vision as... Not as a wolf, no. So, are you going to continue? So, it's more a case of are you doing the last bit of wolf form in darkness? Ooh, good point. Uh, no. It's going to decide what happens. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I just realized I can't see very well in the dark with the wolf form. So, basically, once I stop being able to see, is when I'm going to park it, go up a tree, and tie myself a small. Okay, so we'll use this roll for when that happens, because that's going to happen first. Yeah. So, you notice the light fading quickly as the end of the day approaches, and you're finding it difficult, even as a wolf, to figure. There's n as you're not tracking any particular sense or anything to track currently where you are, and you're not picking up anything out of the blue... You start keeping an eye out for somewhere where you can park your ass. Which you effectively do. You you it's similar enough to your like forest D homelands to to a degree that you are uh, It's just able wet. <laughs> to pick out on pick out on some signs like it's no guarantee that they're safe, but they're usually like a good starting point to go. I should be all right here, and you kind of like find like find yourself setting up in like around around a slightly larger tree, which provides you like cover from one like from the one side, so you kind of keep an eye out. Okay. Put your back to the tree, kind of thing, so nothing's gonna jump you from behind. Necessary, unless the tree jumps you from behind. That, that's happened on occasion, you think, maybe. I you swear, if you lash but... me to a living tree, and I mean living tree as in, like, a tree ant or something. But you settle yourself in, in for the night. As best you can. Mm-hmm. Do I need to make a sleight of hand as well? Are you planning on tying yourself to a tree? Yes. Then yes. Because I don't want to be on the ground for an alligator to grab me either. Well, you've learned your lesson. You've decided to plank your butt as far away from the water that you possibly can. Yeah. Uh, Although it's also not necessarily a bad idea, seeing as you're on your own, to make sure you're out of reach of certain other things that mm. might appear. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hope this rolls well. Ah! You think you've successfully tied yourself in. Oh, no! <laughs> You'll find out later. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you've got no one to do a watch for you. <laughs> a 
So, uh, I'm going to pull people to let's throw it on this random then. Which may just suddenly go black for everyone because I think I said got this one set to night time. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's rich black. Okay. Give me a moment. I'm just gonna set this character sheet to fucking. Uh, I'll Third randomly level. throw people's tokens on here, including top, just so there's. There's a Cayenne. There's a Zaha. There's a fine. Leave that's everyone we need tokens for. Behold, random map. Ah, you can see in all directions! Wait, how far can you see in all directions? Uh. Well, not, that, not, that, not that my DD Beyond. She is doing it correctly, but uh, there's nothing blacked out. Yeah, same here. Yeah, it's because you have access to the other sheet at the moment. Okay. Which is probably better for the stream. It's more important for them than you. Your token staffer, if we need. Well, Josh, uh, Josh can see also. Yeah, because he should have sixty foot dark vision of it because he's a fucking dwarf. No, I mean he has no black black uh, things at all. No, I have nothing. Like, no black. And no, it's dark vision 120 feet. 120 feet? Oh, yeah, because that got improved. That would be why then. You're about 70 foot away from the thing. So if you got more than 60 foot dark vision, yeah, that'll work. It is dark. Here's a map. Pick a tree. <laughs> uh, well, I said I was in the same tree as Zoho, so. Which tree did Zoho grab? Can he even see? No, actually, no, no, he can't. Well, no, he I has... can't even see on the map. I, I don't. Wait, the odds was right there. Yeah, I think yeah, everyone but... has access to the vision of everybody right I'm now. I'm just so. there so I can see the map. Fun fact: they don't have access to me because I, I think maybe I don't know. Someone tried to drag Inkai in the square to the left. They shouldn't. No uh... one should be able to edit. It's just I think. Because they have. I want to say this tree. This tree? Okay. Yeah. Or. Is that square? Maybe... That square's a or... part of that tree. Yeah, that's fine. Or maybe this tree. I, I... Go with your first you choice. I'm stuck. <laughs> or your second choice. Whichever choice. That tree over there. Okay. Mm. All I know is we're all in the same tree. Are we all in the same tree? Well, I sit and are say, you being in the same tree? Well, I tried to stay close enough. So, yes. In which case, put yourself on a, any part of that tree. So, in other words, fucking yeah. Soren's the only one who could see shit. Like, oh, everything can. right now. <laughs> No oh, kind can see from that bullshittery. Yeah, but they only have sixty foot, don't they? No, no. <laughs> oh, they dark have dark vision itself point. got buffed. Not no, no. Dark vision for dwarves got buffed. Oh, kind mm. comes from something else. <laughs> okay. Well, um. So. Magical. <laughs> Cayenne made dirty deals. I didn't make dirty deals, it just suddenly happened. Yeah, dirty deals done dirt cheap. Can I have everyone roll a D100? Everyone roll a Including D100. me? Okay. Yeah, everyone roll one D100. I just want to randomize something. Uh, no, I can't. can't oh, I, don't I read. I don't think any of us have a D100. Yes, we do. I meant physically, dude. 
Oh, that's what 90 looks like. Okay. It would be very hard to make a D100 legit in real life. Yeah, because they're massive freaking dice. <laughs> that's interesting. They're not tiny. That's interesting. So if that's the Nimbus. Okay, uh, who was on first watch? I thought he was on second. No, no I'm on first. No, who's the tank? What's the mage? I don't know, it's the priest. So, so Faye. No, Faye was in the middle, yeah? So yeah. Yes. 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 What am I rolling? As the swamp heads into darkness. I don't like it. It feels like it's more alive. Oh, hell no. You hear creatures in the distance all around. Can I see what any of them are? No. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Fuck. And you can hear many insects chirping, buzzing around. It's quite irritating, actually. You've been out in the wilderness, but it's odd for it. It feels odd to, that the darkness is more brimming with light, life than the light. I mean, yeah, I'm used to being in the hills or the mountains where it's relatively quiet. Do I see That's... anything? Make a perception check. B. Fuck. <laughs> you hear many things, you see not much. Your companions yeah. are near you in their various branches. Every yeah. now and again, you look up and the breeze breaks the. Breaks the part and leaves just enough that you can see the starlight momentarily. Lovely. There's a sudden loud croak. Echo of ground. Makes you jump a bit. But you don't see anything. As far as you know, your your watch goes uninterrupted. Okay. Until you come to the point where you feel like you could get yourself some shut eye, and you glance over towards where Cayenne is. Who's just awake? Staring upwards. Uh, and you see that silhouette there. Staring upwards. <laughs> but you have fixed yourself to this tree. You cannot move. 
I quietly call out to Cayenne. Eh. It's your turn. Meat. As you try to make yourself as comfortable as you can on the tree branch. There will be no snuggling tonight. Yay. Cayenne. Yes. You, your watch begins. You, you, you've kind of picked up on the noises of the swamp. Bell. Rolling perception. Would you like to? Uh, you're doing two watches, so yep. roll another one. Yep. One for the first part, one for the second part. Oh. Oh, okay, you said you fall out the tree somehow. So, a loud crack makes you jump all of a sudden, and you slip, and you fall out the tree. Because you didn't tie yourself in, apparently. Or if you did, no. you tied yourself badly. No, because why would I need to tie myself in? I don't need to sleep. But That's... in a momentary lapse of judgment, you, fo you fall out of the tree. I don't need sleep. I need answers. <laughs> and Womp. as you stand yourself up, dust yourself off and look at probably getting back in the tree. There's a light on the other side of the tree. Uh oh. Turning. I slowly lean around the tree. Squint. What? What is it? A tiny flickering flame hovers. Oh no. Nearby. I will a wisp. Uh oh. I I look around. Look around more. Yeah, I'm just like looking around since I'm stuck down here. Here right now. As you look around. Nothing, nothing's causing it? It doesn't seem to be attached to anything. It's just there. Hi! Does it respond back? It's, it's just a uh, flickering. Go poke it. I ain't fucking poke. You're asleep. Or should be. I am asleep. I ain't fucking poke. And kinds of mothers with a prop. We said don't go poke. In a strange floating fight. Or is in the middle of the night. Can I recommend to check this? You may attempt to, I guess. What harm can come from staring into the flame?
definitely not normal for a fire to be not a fire, a uh, flame to just be flickering in place, unconnected to anything. Does not move. Just sheds a dim light nearby. <laughs> Feel that it must be some magic going on, but not quite sure what. Oops, I don't know. Shit, I'm just gonna keep keep an eye on it, it not staring at it and just Wait until I know it's Zoho's turn. Yeah. You say you're going to stare at it? No, I'm not going to directly okay, stare, not at, stare it. at it. Okay, not stare at it. Okay. That's what I say. I just stare at it. So. Mm. I should kind of keep an eye on it over the duration of time. It doesn't seem to do anything. It's just there, hovering, flickering, menacingly. Not even menacingly. It's existing. And I guess Zoho's time comes. As apparently you said you weren't going to do anything other than avoid eye contact? Question mark. Yeah, that yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with if it doesn't like somehow beckon for help or straight up attack us. It's spooky. So yeah, Zoho's oh, time. Oh, main wait, three days ago. Actually, two. Yeah, two. Hey, uh, remember, do you remember that first time you met a vampire? Me. Yeah. I think that was around Halloween. Me. Eh. Anyways. He's my turn. Anyways, Kayan. Time passes, you feel like it's the dark, dark it is, you feel like it's about time to get Zoho up. You know, make my way up the tree and just poke him. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Ken, it's my turn to walk. Uh, watch. Yeah, also. Oh, there's. A, I think a mystical flame right there. Don't stare at it too, for too long. I don't know what its. what its function is, and I'm not gonna attempt. Mystical flame? Where? He looks. <laughs> Would you, could, could you make a perception check, please? Hey! <laughs> which, your question is which one? It's the question you should be asking. Uh, which one? What do you mean, which one? Um, well, if my eyes are to see me, I am counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Seven, yes. <laughs> well, they're very pretty. Maybe if they can just stay right where they are, he... Suddenly goes for his pack to bring out his catch book. Thorin is just dead asleep during all of this. Yes. Oh, Kai is her in we now count. Seeing them all go into a circling path. Mm. Fascinating. Is this not fascinating, Kayan? He's sketching it. He's talking. 
Uh, I'm gonna look oh, out this direction. Do I see anything shenaniganer? Or in what would assumably be the scent? Be beyond the or, wall? Yeah, I'm looking for whatever or would be shenanig whatever shenaniganery in the middle. I, I did that. I, apparently, roll. Zoho is very good at expressing light. In darkness. Yeah. He's just, yeah. <laughs> what was the torch? <laughs> um. Yeah. Anything shenanigans over there? Yeah, because everything's make... in a circle. Why? Why are? Why are they making a circle? All these squares make a circle. Um. All these squares make a circle. <laughs> make a well, make a perception. Seeing as you're looking over, like trying to spot things over. Yeah, there. you're the one with the dark vision. <laughs> He's just busy catching the light, the balls of light. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, very nice. Oh, this will make a great excerpt in the journal. Thirty-five. Oh, so close. You don't see anything go over in that direction. You can make out the silhouettes of the trees and the space between them. You see no movement, no light source. There's nothing unusual over there that you can make out. Well, the only thing I can think of doing in case this becomes a problem is not in one of them with control flames, but... It, oh, wait, no, it says not magical. Never mind. Uh. Yes, 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 yes. I think after a while, he is done sketching them. Hmm. Yes, yes, this will make a great painting. If I can just remember the proper shadings of the green. And... Yellow, I think? Kyan, what do you think? I think you're <laughs> it. Shenanigans? How so? Oh, well, they're either a curving line or something unseen. It is happening in the middle, and I don't want to know. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Ooh. Let's no hope on this. Unless, unless this some does something. What does? I tried to connect to it. There is no connection. Oh. It's just a floating flame. Oh, unless you want me to go do a light walk to see what's up, I mean... Well, interacting with them. Have they attacked us? No, it just stood there. Or floating there. Hmm. Maybe this is probably some form of natural phenomena. Although Arto oh, would know. probably know something about this, but sadly he's not here. Uh. Hmm. Floating balls of light. Hmm. He tries to think if he had encountered something like this in the scrolls from the monastery. No. Like an excerpt. Like. I don't think he would have in the monastery. Hmm. He puts away his sketchbook, takes out his journal, and writes down. Floating balls of light, non-hostile. 
possible natural phenomena or something spiritual in nature. Well, if they're not going to attack us, I think we should just watch and see what happens. Yes? Okay. Oh, yeah, Besides, so... they're very pretty. So you stay basically watching them. Yes. Not I'm not staring directly at them. <laughs> I like how you keep pointing out. I'm not staring. I swear I'm not staring. Well, Kyan doesn't know. It's a green ball of fire. <laughs> er, and perception wise, nothing is happening in this direction. And, and if they're trying to tell us which way to go, well, great, but there's a line of trees and they don't really cast enough light to. Hmm. Be visible above them, going this direction and any direction forward. All right, cool. So, as time passes on, <laughs> as what feels like the correct amount of time for your watch. Like two hours or so. Mm -hmm. and the you, sun begins to rise. The sun begins to rise, but you guys don't notice it at first. Although, the light slowly disappears. towards the end of your watch. Not in any particular order. Just one by one they fade as if they were never there. Hmm. And you guys can successfully complete your long rest. Yeah. Hooray, including yeah. me? No, these guys, not okay. you. I haven't got to you yet. Not you! <gasps> no! <laughs> yeah, not here. you decided to go off on your own. <laughs> <laughs> and nearly got eaten by an alligator. Not really. Crocodile. Whatever, that did not look like a oh. Click your long grass button. Spend whichever head die. Spend, you'll get eight hit dice. Feel free to spend them. I forget, do I have full HP already? No, Wait, don't we... <laughs> I'm almost dead. Uh, don't we... I, I'm confused as to how the long rest works now. Right, we get so you will get one hit dice thing. back for each hour of your long rest. So a maximum of eight. Uh-huh. You spend hit dice to heal. Whoa. Okay, so we get hit so we dice back. So we don't... so you will always you will always have at least eight hit dice to spend on a long rest, but you might go into the next day with like not max. Maybe well, spend I only my... had five hit dice because Would of be... using some after the fucking vampire. Would I be able to use those two hit dice before I get back the hit dice? Yes. Neat. So okay. you spend the one, you know, it's like, use, you'll gain eight total over the course of a long rest. I am using all five of my teeth, <laughs> because I have zero health. So, the whole factor pull. So if you, st basically, if you, what? say, did you say you have five hit dice foreign? Uh, I have eight, I had used three earlier in the day. Yeah, but you have five getting up left, from... right? Yeah. So you spend those five, and you get a... and then you gain eight over the long rest. Okay, that's so what I wanted to that, be. So if you don't, so if you don't end up with, so if the, so you rolled forty hit points, right? Yeah, I know. Um. So you're now at forty-one out of whatever your max is. If you feel like you want to, so now you basically have the choice. You can 
dip into your H like your hit dice ahead. Tomorrow. So you'll have like so you can either start with this HP with your full amount of hit dice, or you can dip into them some more to try and go into full HP, but you will have less hit dice for the day. I'm gonna hold off for now. So you should now, so now you've spent that, you're at 41 HP, just put your hit dice to 8, so you've got the correct amount. Uh, yes, I already did. And that goes the same for everyone. You can spend whatever's left before you actually generate the 8. And then I use one to get back full. Yeah. It's a bit of a risk reward. It's me it's an attempt to try and balance out the way that I pace the game because you don't have the general encounter, short rest encounter, long rest encounter. It's more of a case of you have an encounter. You may not see another one for a few days. You may see one in an hour. You don't know. An hour or in the next five minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't really know, but the way my the way I pace things doesn't fit at all into any Blair <laughs> of standard pattern. But I'm not going into the whole hardcore of like you have to ha you have to rest for an entire day to have a short rest and a long rest is a week and blah 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 all that crap. That's a bit too much. But this feels like it might balance out the sporadity and add add a bit of tension. When things happen okay. more often than expected. <laughs> so, I will briefly dip over to Otto. Because Otto is all alone. Hippity hoppity, you die. <laughs> oh, he thinks he's alone. <laughs> you set yourself up. Mm hmm. You fix yourself in. Make yourself I, as comfortable as possible. I think I tie myself in. Properly. I think you tie yourself in. And... I'd like you to roll... A D100. You got it. Man. You, you you seem to have a long rest. Okay. You wake up. You feel Kind of refreshed. Uh huh. So do your healing and stuff as normal. Okay. Well, as I explained, I know that's not the normal way of doing it. Mm. <laughs> oh, that doesn't work that way. Uh. There we go. Uh, wait, is that max? That's higher than max health. Uh, yeah, it can't have higher. It got you to max is what we're getting at. There. Okay. Was that spent from your 8 or from... That's right. That was spent from my 8. So you'll go down to... You'll start the day with 788, which isn't that bad. Yeah. And you wake up and... You're in a tree. All right. I think uh you're attached to a tree. Yeah. With with rope. I untie myself. You attempt to untie yourself. 
it's a snake, isn't it? No. Okay. As you try to untie the knot that you use to secure yourself. <laughs> it hurts. Uh-oh. Uh... Your fingers hurt. And you notice... You have... A few small blisters on your hands. I would like to detect poison and disease. <laughs> this is a ritual cast. Would you like to get yourself out of the tree first? Yes, please. Okay, so you get yourself out of the tree. And a little worry about where these blisters might have come from. So you start casting your ritual. Uh, is it just everything within 30 feet? Mm-hmm. Okay. You... detect... three sources of poison slash disease. I'm not really sure how to describe this one. I've never had anyone use this spell before. <laughs> I've never used this spell before. You sense there is some form of poisonous something nearby in two separate locations. One off to your right, another a little further off in front of you to the left, and yourself. Can I tell if mine is magical in nature? You sense that you have contracted something not necessarily poison but there is something in inside in, inside of you there is something inside of you since that it feels like it may be rotting away so to speak mm. You have some form of disease. <laughs> but I don't think the spell actually tells you. I, I don't believe this goes into detail. I think it's literally, it's like, it tells you there is a poisonous thing here. There is a, some, this person has some disease. It doesn't, even when I look at like the full description for it, it is literally like, You sense the location of poisons slash venomous creatures a magical contain oh it does state magical contagions uh, and the kind of poison oh it does say or oh, the kind so yes this would be some kind of magical contagion you would be able to sense it some kind of magical bullshit then I shall use but magical not... bullshit. You would like me to finish yes. first before you start spamming spells? Fine. Yes. It has some magic within it. It's not pure. It's not magic alone. I'm going to cast it anyways to see if I can stop it from spreading faster than it would normally. Okay. 
Okay. So you're so you're going to cast this in the hopes that it may have an effect of whatever's on you. Yeah, to slow it. Like if it's a contagion, I mean, I'm still going to uh, have to deal with it. But if it's magical in nature, it might be speeding it up. Okay. I will note this down. But you will not be able to tell no. from the detect poison thing. Because like you said, it's like, if it's a contagion or something, it's still going to be there. But hopefully you have removed, if, it, there's an magic, if it's having a magical effect on you, you're hope, you've hopefully removed it from yourself. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, I'm, that's, uh... I'm basically going to transform and continue to try and find civilization to hopefully deal with this now. Because now I'm on the clock. So you don't want to, like, investigate the other poisonous things or anything that you noticed? Well, they're not part of... Ones. They're not part of me, right? No, they're not part of you. That's why I'm asking, like, do you want to investigate? Mm, not particularly. Okay. So, what form would you like to take, and which way would you like to head? I'm continuing to head north, and I'm going to fly. Top's just, like, running away with Otto at this point. <laughs> my freedom. I want my freedom. I would not be held back by these people. Uh, yeah, I have a, a health of zero, uh-huh. Eight times zero? Oof. Oh, does it have no con mod? That might... Because it's based on the con... Oh, is that... No, wait, we fi... I'm sure we fixed this last time. You might have fixed the wolf. Maybe you fixed it on the old sheet? No, no, I didn't... I haven't... It's all the same sheet. Did it not save the... Did it not save it? Not yeah, I don't think it did, because it's got the effects of the wolf on it. Keen Sight and Smell and Pack Tactics. Yeah, when Turf, when Turf decided to go wolf, he used Bite. Yeah, but I clicked it and it still gave me the right thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, but the raven has keen sight. Yeah, keen sight, yes, but not smell. It said that the wolf doesn't have... Uh, copy... Night raven. No, it does have smell. Oh, okay. And pack tactics? Yep. Okay, I'll shut up then. Hmm. I'm pretty sure nothing changed, but it rolled that time. Okay. So. Uh. It's gonna get annoying if it's not. Oh, it's plus. Set that to your max and then add the 16. Behold, bird boy. Bird man. Bird plane? <laughs> I'm more than a bird, I'm more than a plane, I'm a bird plane. Alright, so. You transform into your bird. Mm hmm. Where you are. Yep. Fly up and out. Yeah. And you look around for an opening to fly out of, and 
you, you, you just see the bird like hopping around until he finds an elevator. Yep. And you head up out. And you head north. North. It shouldn't be too hard to find because I believe you know where the sun rises. Mm hmm. So just stare well, directly yeah. at it. Turn hang, left. Hang a 90 degrees to the left. And just keep going and hope that you ha uh, uh, and eventually you might run into something because you're now blind for locking it because you did it stupid by looking into the sun. <laughs> <laughs> and he had not. I'm going to guess we were we were like a we were like a perception check. Okay. It's still adding my plus three. No, it didn't. No? That time it just did plus three, plus four. Okay. Yeah, I think I've put an, I think I've put a number in the wrong modifier somewhere. So, um... Actually, wait, no. Keen Sight and Smell. Uh, so I should have... Should I yes. re-roll this? Roll with advantage. Yes, it is daylight now, so it should be... So I should roll this again. Yeah, just roll it once, though. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, just roll it once. yo -hey! Oh, that's better. Okay. So. Within the f first hour of flying, you spot a s small trail of smoke. All a wispy like. Okay. Do I invest Coming out from. Sorry. Coming out from. Some trees in the distance, I guess. <laughs> okay. No, but I, I don't think we need a particular direction considering you're heading north. It's not north. But it's close enough. <laughs> and it's all wispy like. What would you like to do? Fly overhead and see what's what from above. So you want to fly towards the the wispy smoke? Mm-hmm. Wispy smoke. The wispy smoke. That, that's the thing now. Oh, so, you head... so you head over to the direction of the smell, and there's a. As you get closer, there's there's. Don't want to call it a clearing, but there's a small break in the trees, and you can make a rooftop. Okay. And the chimney. From which the source of the wispy smoke. Is it just a house on its own? It's just on its own. Not exactly what I was looking for. Or I'm not exactly entirely sure what, what you are looking for. Not to mention, I don't really want to get a random person in the wild sick with what I've got, so I'm going to keep moving on. You're going to keep going and ignore it? Okay. Well, the smoke is probably a person actually living there. I... Mm. No, I'm just checking. That's your choice. Does this mean you will be turning northward again? Yeah. Okie dokie. So you pass by. I'm gonna get so crop. pissed if this is actually like a healer who could heal me. <laughs> you it's continue one way to find out. Yeah, but that would mean burning a a, a transformation too. You continue mm. offward, and I'll now pop back to the other groups who find themselves in the morning, and the little floaty wispy things have disappeared. Not wispy thing. I've got wispy stuck in my head now. Mm. Well, Little Zoho, goes, Zoho goes to untie the vine he had wrapped around his leg to keep him on the branch, so he couldn't fall off. 
while he was sleeping. It's morning. Oh. <sighs> it is morning. No, it's, it's still dark, but it's morning. Kyan uh, shakes Thor. Thorin gently away and goes to. Just. Examine. Invest the space. When you say examine, you mean you want to investigate this area? Yeah. Right, an investigation, please. Uh, that one. You examine the area around where the floaty flame was. There is no signs of any like possible source for the like little flame itself. There's no like no nothing burnt on the ground, nothing no trail left behind. Just the muddy damp ground. Oh. Though it is definitely ground, and if you were to look rough around where the others were, it it's damp ground, muddy, but there's no no water where any of them were. Okay. Does it look like there's more, like, along a path, or does it seem to actually go entirely in the circle, like, they were? So, like, and just yeah, if, if, goes around you, in a circle. If you go, this. if you, if you're investigating the different areas where each one was, the none of them are where there's water. They're all where effectively dry land. The strides is going to get in a swamp. <laughs> what, does it just go in a circle or does it make a path? And it seems to follow... seems to follow quite nicely through the trees for the short duration bit that you can follow. You could assume it might be a path, okay. considering, considering not a single one of them was on water, not a single one of them was where a tree was. I, I look at <laughs> Thorin, who's awake now. Know anything about floating, floating fireballs uh... in the area? Oh, shows him the sketch he made last night. Would I have to roll a history or an arcana to see if I know anything? Roll a uh, history. They were quite pretty. They didn't attack us, they just floated there. Illuminating the path, it seems. <laughs> Right, so you remember from the Dwarven City, it's like, they had lights, but they were kind of fixed and not really flamey. They were stones. Okay. And you okay. vaguely recall some people are, like, Contemporary, like very briefly, hold a flickering flame in their hands, but it's always in their hands, and if they ever let it go, it would fade. 
Well, I relay the information that I remember. Uh, no seems recollection to be... of just existing flames. Yeah. Only thing I can think of is there's a mage somewhere that was in the middle that we didn't, s that you guys didn't see. Like that. Down at the only spell I can think of would have to get moved every so often. I don't think a flame that could exist for a long period of time if it wasn't just smoke in says Zo Hose uh, and the rapier specifically. Mm. Only ever seen. I've only ever seen two, two of them in some form, and Sabakaze is the close. Is to that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So you're saying they're spirits? Oh, they're either spirit. They're either spirits or something. And the druids set up for people who who shouldn't be staying in a single spot. That, like I, markers. Just, prob probably, because by the looks of it, it's not. This doesn't give. It's not going in a straight path. It like it does eventually. By the looks of it, it does eventually curve like north, right? Hmm. Or it does. It it. it... Or Essentially, it looks like it may be some path, but it's not like a straight line or anything. Right, but it does eventually. Following the pattern of information you have, is they seem it's like it's like they were illuminating in some kind of pattern. As I said, none of them were like would have lit up. A, like there was no from the ones you saw, they none of them would were near water. None of and they were all kind of like pretty much in open spots in regards to how the trees and things are clumped together. Um, well, I have a vague understanding of how their pattern, pattern is. We could walk over land, or I can try, try so we can in up my fly spell for Longer than an hour. Mm. Mm. Uh, I've never dealt with this before, so I guess that'll work. So, what's the plan of action? Uh, I guess we'll go with Cayenne's plan for now and see what happens. Okay, and what's your actual plan of action? I, well, I was asking for input because either or we follow the dry path or we fuck. Hmm. In hoof it with Cayenne carrying both of you while using fly. Hmm. Would you be able to carry us without any trouble? Considering my, considering my carrying capacity is 360 and we just, and if we just shove. If we put everyone them, in a bag of holding, they don't weigh much at all. <laughs> well, if we also shove, if we also shove all of our un, unused equipment into it, into the bags of holdings that we have, which are two of them, then. Hmm. Lauren, what do you think? Mm, we should at least try the dry path first before we resort to anything radical that could potentially go wrong. Not to mention, Cayenne, and we may need your spell slots if we ever get into another encounter like back in the marsh. Yeah, well, I have ev well, I have everything back. It's just a case of not overspending them. I'm... Pretty sure, because the rules do not say this. But I'm pretty sure I can squeak, squeak out like 
10, 20, 30, 40. Just on base tell. And without messing with anything, I'm trying to figure out how to get this to work. Damn it, come on. What are you trying to do? Uh, right, just do this. Four, five, six. Oh, I'm reading this right. Uh, Kyan basically states she could probably fly for 10 hours. That does not sound right at all. Well, uh, Metamagic Extend. Yeah, so. Extended spell. When you cast a spell of with a duration of one minute or longer. Or you can spend one sorcery point to double its max duration. To double its duration to a max of 24 hours. So, basically, since the rules don't say you can't use the same meta match on itself, you just can't use a different one. And Kyan has six sorcery points. A flying for 10 minutes becomes... 20, becomes 40. 60. Like, if I use all six sorcery points, becomes 640 minutes. And divided by 60 is 10 hours and 40 minutes. I'm sure they put something in the rules about how this is meant to work better. Well, then we'll then, then we'll figure this out uh, uh, within the next two weeks and just follow the dry the dry path. I get what you mean. It's like dots. If I dump everything into this, it's like it's like can I double it? Double double the double the double. But for now, we're you're not you're going for the other option, right? You're not trying to yeah. not flying straight away. Yeah, we're not so we flying. We can figure that out at some point when brains and stuff are working, and we're not in the middle of the game. So. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to attempt to follow the road, for lack of a better term. Yep. Mm. Uh, at least this path is dry. Ish. Always remember the fuddish on the end. <laughs> there are no absolutes here. Only Sif deal in absolutes. So, I'm absolutely uh, going to drop a building on things. I guess. We're not there yet. Uh, survival? Because I guess it's kind of tracking to some degree. Following Neat. the pattern. Neat, I have that. Trying to follow the pattern that you've picked up on. 23. So are we all rolling survival or just five? Yeah, everyone rolls survival. You're all everyone walking. rolls survival? Okay. Everyone do You're the block. Oh, my terrible. luck is gone. Oh no, my so luck. I was going to die. My luck terrible, is gone. Neat. Okay. Okay. So you start heading on the journey, no longer trying to head in the most direct route, but choosing to follow this what appears to be some kind of route though it does not head directly north it does initially head in the you make sure you're following it as northward as you can when you first set off and I think I'll end the session there <laughs>
No, alrighty, folks. That's us for tonight. We'll see you guys again tomorrow night for some Stardew Valley. And if you want to check our, our, our schedule, please check our offline page. And if you want to join our lovely community, please join our Discord. Uh, if you want to see more like this, uh, please, by all means, uh, double check the schedule. And yeah, we'll see you guys two weeks from now to see where this disease thing's going and whether we can finally get out of the swamp or not. We'll see you guys then.